Lovability is a new condom company aimed toward women, and it's supposed to make women take control of their own sexual health by buying these condoms and using these condoms. It also gives women more information about sexual health. And for some reason or another, Chase has decided that they will not process any payments made to the company. Now, the owner of the company couldn't really understand this, so she reached out to Chase, and they did release a statement to her. This is what they said. I wanted to let you know that we actually will not be able to move forward regarding processing with Chase Payment Tech. That's uh, what they use to process payments to companies. As processing sales for adult-oriented products is a prohibited vertical. I apologize for the confusion, and I wish you and your growing brand the best of luck in the future. Now, they also noted uh, that the reason why uh, they don't want to process payments for this vertical <coughs> is because it's an adult-oriented product and it will lead to significant reputational risk because Chase is really concerned about their reputation. They have a squeaky clean background. They don't want people to talk bad about them. All right, first of all, growing brand, we got it. <laughs> that was totally intended. We understand that. Um, second of all, you're right, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase well, has only been in trouble for, I, I don't know, half a dozen billion dollar cases where they were fined and punished over and over again, including participating in rigging uh, the markets, the housing market back in 2008 that led to the epic collapse. Subprime the, mortgages. The yeah. fraud that was involved there. <clears throat> Uh, recently, uh, bribery in the case of uh, Chinese officials and their family members, and on and on it goes. Let me give so one more example. In uh, 2011, they had to settle uh, a huge case because they were ignoring sanctions and embargoes against Iran and Cuba. So the government got involved, and they're like, what are you doing? So they had to settle $9 million, which is not much for J.P. Morgan Chase. But yeah, they break the law all the time. I'm just hilarious that they won't let you buy condoms from this particular place. Uh, yeah, but condoms, yeah. that's a real American problem. Okay, that is a growing problem in America. <laughs> now, by the way, they do business all the time with con makers. Why these women? Not only that, I mean, you can... I, I'm pretty sure you can go into any sex shop and use your Chase card and it'll work. I don't really understand why they decided to go after this particular company. It doesn't really make sense and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, make the hypothesis that someone at the company, at Chase, decided to take matters into his or her own hands and say, nah, I don't like this, it's against my morals, so we're not going to process these payments. He took matters into his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way it wasn't a Christian fundamentalist. I know, as George Bush would say, that's speculation, mm -hmm. right? But that's that a fundamentalist do this kind of crap. And by the way, it's interesting that it's a woman's company that's selling the condoms. All the other companies selling condoms are fine and continue to do business with them. What are you doing trying with, with the women You and stuff? can go into a sex shop and buy the biggest dildo available. And <laughs> the Chase... biggest one. <laughs> okay. Even a double donger. <laughs> and Chase will process that payment. Why are they not allowing this lovely woman to teach women about sexual health and sell them perfectly fine condoms? I just don't get it. Unless you don't want people to find out about sexual health because you think no one should be having sex. No, it's crazy. They've got to reverse that policy, but to this moment, they still haven't. Yeah. And remember, as Anna said, you could even buy the biggest dildo there is, okay? <laughs> Which maybe, ironically, might be the guy who set this policy. Double dog. <laughs> That's the double donger action? Yeah. I just love that you're the person who taught me what a double donger was. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, that could be taken in a lot of ways. On the show, <laughs> through conversation. Let's just okay. calm the hell down, okay? okay. Uh, there is a change.org petition uh, to uh, try to pressure Chase to process the payments for lovability, so check that out if you feel passionately about this, and we'll see what happens. My mm -hmm. guess is they're probably going to end up processing payments for them.